Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here on the Cube SMP, and in today's episode, I have an itchy nose, but we are back from PAX, Par I was gonna say PAX Prime, PAX East, we are back from Boston and all that good stuff, I live streamed a little bit last night, apparently the entire cube got pranked, that, that I saw that piece of wood yesterday, I didn't knock it down, and now it's bothering the hell out of me, and I gotta knock it back down. Um, but we're back here on the cube, finally able to play again. I missed it. I haven't played Minecraft in so long, other than last night during the live stream, of course. Um, but the last time we literally played was when I died um, from doing the leap of faith, and it was the fail. Um, I had to. <laughs> I just randomly showed up in the middle of a spawn with nothing in there. I'm like, oh my god, what? Am I in the wrong account or what happened? Um, but we apparently got pranked by Kermit as a, the entire cube server from Kermit. He, he mushroomed the entire place and mushroomed. All of the trees and all the goodies and all this stuff. I kind of like this more. I'm not going to lie. I like the mushrooms. <laughs> I really do. The mushrooms can go. The mushrooms can go, but the mushrooms are cool. I like them. They give an, a, a different feel to it. But well, this place looks really cool. So there's some stuff that I want to do today. Um, let's go back over this way. I kind of want to try and finish at least the exterior of the bank today. I don't want to dilly-dally on it way too long. I want to focus on other things as well. Um, and I asked people during the live stream yesterday what they would like to see in today's episode. They want to see some enchanting, which I actually kind of should be doing too. So we could spend a little while at the end farm, um, see how well it's working and all that good stuff. Um, but I want to first try and finish up this place. I've done quite a bit. We have a lot of... Um, uh, we should have a lot of glass in here, right? I do. Okay, good. I smelt it like all of this, and I ran out of coal, too. That sucks. Um, but we got a ton of this stuff, which we got to work on. And this is not... Oh, yeah, this is gray clay. It's gray, not light gray clay. I've learned that the hard way multiple times now. Um, but let's put all this in here. And what we're going to do is a nice little speed-up montage of me finishing up the, the, the glass from this area. And that's all I could get, because I don't have any more gray stuff. Um, I will be back, guys. Hold on. Enjoy the music. Alright guys, <clears throat> we got all the glass done and we got parts of this done. Um, I want to figure out, I think I'm going to end up doing that over there. I started that over there by accident, not even on purpose. Um, but I want to redo that, but kind of have it go all across the sides at least. I don't know, there's a lot of ideas that I still have and I don't know if I want to do or not. Because that looks kind of cool, but then that would ruin part of the glass. That's too much to handle. Um, but what we're going to go do now is I actually think I want to go to the end for a bit. I want to go see the end. I want to go in there. I want to grab some ender pearls. Do I have, I do have enough food. Um, what else would I need from the end farm? Um, I'm actually going to go grab a ton of diamonds, books, bows, that kind of stuff, and bring it with, and hopefully we can get our enchant on. Um, so, yeah, and then hopefully what I want to do is back in the mine crew days, I made a nice little locker room with my end farm that I made. Um, and I want to kind of do that again on here. Um, when I say locker room, I mean like I want to have a locker for a person. So if they want to go in there and enchant it, they could, if they want to end up throwing their books into the locker or their locker, no one else can really go into it or something cool like that. Um, I'll run Kermit past the idea because Kermit's, Kermit's the one that pretty much did the end farm and I don't want to accidentally, <laughs> I don't want to build something in there when it's not actually like my build or whatever, but I'm going to get all this stuff going and I will be back. Hold on. All right, guys, we just got out of the nether, and we're going to hop into here. You got to be careful when jump. Ah, uh, see, I hate it. It makes you look straight forward, and with this pillar here, like, there could be an Enderman just staring right at you, and it gets really scary. Um, but <laughs> Kermit has this really cool thing over here. Um, he's got this little rocket ship, and it's actually a shop. It is a shop. It's not, it's, it's a different shop. It's not what you would normally call a shop. It is a rocket ship shop where it sells TNT. <laughs> it's the moon landing. Um, is there, okay. One diamond, I keep, I, I thought that's a 10 per 5, <laughs> but it's only one diamond per uh, 5 of these. So let's grab 15, and I will owe him 3 
Diamonds, there you go. Kirby, kirm, 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 kirm. Um, I don't know if there's another ender chest over there, so I'm gonna try and be super careful. This is the scariest thing in the world. I hate this bridge. <laughs> I do. Like, it's cool looking and everything, but I feel like I'm gonna fall into the end at any second right now. I need, like, a freaking minecart to just let me close my eyes and just go straight forward. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like- Oh my god, that looks really cool. Oh, Kermit put so much work on here. Look at all the emeralds. Look at all of the quartz. Look at the purple glass. Let's go through. Bump. Thank you. Bump, 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 bump. Oh my god, this is even scarier right here. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. Um, but apparently... I don't know if I'm supposed to start doing something to make them start spawning or anything. But what you're supposed to do is grab a flint and steel. I don't know if he has a flint and steel around here. Um, or how to even make them start spawning. Normally they just start. Um... <laughs> I, ha I don't really know much about this end farm, to be honest. Uh, maybe I'll hop up there for a second. Um, but we need a flint and steel to light the the TNT, which I don't know if there's one in here. So maybe I can't use the TNT right now. Is that... Okay, that is glass. That's so scary. I hate it. Um, it does not look like it has flint and steel in here, so we can't use that. Um, is there's no one else on, so... Oh, hey, there's name tags in there. Um, so I don't know what's going on. I'm going to try to figure out this and see if they start spawning. I'll be back, guys. Hold on. Alright guys, so I've been trying to figure this out, and I have no idea what exactly I'm supposed to be doing here. Like, I think this is an endermite. I can see, like, the particles. Oh, didn't mean to touch him. Um, but I could kind of see the particles of him. Let's see. I get a better look of him. Oh, I can't see him anymore. Maybe he's gone. Huh. So, Enderman will go and attack the Endermite. Maybe he's not even in here. Maybe this is just broken right now. Um, the Enderman will go and attack the Endermite, and they're supposed to fall down into here. Um, and think this is a full block with the trap doors, and just fall down into there. So, yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. It does not look like it's working. Maybe the particles I saw were the Enderman. Um, but yeah, I have no idea what to do. I didn't touch this. I didn't even come over here until just now. I did not break this, I swear. Um, so yeah, apparently this is broken. So, <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to enchant today. Um, which is kind of unfortunate. I really want wanted to. Um, can I do this? <gasps> no, don't break the redstone. Oh, I might have just broke Kermit's redstone. I didn't think about that. Oh, I feel horrible. Don't break the redstone. Don't break the redstone. Don't break the redstone. Oh, if I broke it, I'm going to go fix it. Or do my best to, at least. Okay, I'm going to work on this stuff. I might have to fix some redstone, and I'll be back, guys. It does not look like we'll be able to enchant today with the enderman farm maybe we'll be able to do it with the other thing but that takes a while so we'll go see you guys i'll be back with something else to do hold on all right guys we're back here at kermit's shop and i did break it looks like a few pieces of the redstone dust um i told kermit like i don't want to mess around with this thing just in case i ruin some other redstone um so i told him if you need anything on the cube be sure to tell me and i'll make it up to you somehow um so once he finds out what i should make it up for him with i'll do that but we need to do some battles of experience get some xp going and maybe do some enchanting um, we'll buy all four of these, and it's one diamond per ten. Right? Yeah, it is. Okay, I looked at that really weird. So, I owe him four diamonds. Throw you in there. And let's see how much XP we get from 40 bottles of enchanting. We are started at level eight. Let's see how much we can get. Oh, come on. Wait, did I have 30 or did I have 40? I thought I had 40. Ugh, that did nothing. Holy crap. Yeah, that was that was kind of a waste to be honest. Normally you get the cookie from that. So I'm gonna go AFK for a little bit and maybe we could get one enchantment done. And then what I wanna do is kind of work on the bank a little bit and talk about PAX East and all the stuff that happened, all the craziness. This was an eventful freaking weekend for everyone. Um really, really mind blowing to be honest. So we'll be back guys. I'll get us all enchanted up. Look at the Kermit monument. Kermit, Kermit, Kermit. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back, and we have a ton of things to enchant, and we're level 41, so let's see what we can get. Let's throw the lapis in there first. Book, Bane of Arthropods 4, uh, Flame 1, not bad. Okay, if that's worse comes to worse, then I bet Smite 4, no thank ya. No, not that one. Um, Diamond Axe, we get Silk Touch on the Diamond Axe. Alright, we'll do a Diamond Pick Axe. Um, is there anything else I want to try? No, I think we're good right now. Silk Touch, Silk Touch Efficiency 4, not bad at all. That was a good way to start, actually. Um, sword, knockback two. There's the Kika clawing at the couch, of course. Kika, why are you so evil? <laughs> Bane of Arthropods again, really? Thorns two, no, ew. Um, knockback two. Unbreaking. Let's do it. Let's do an axe. There we go. Wait, efficiency three, ew. Yuck. <laughs> <coughs> I do not want that at all. That sounds horrible. Thorns two again. If you give me Bane of Arthropods, okay, thank you. Efficiency four is a good book, actually. 
Oh, sweet. <clears throat> that's our worst. That's not bad at all. Efficiency 4. Let's go with the book. Let's get Efficiency 4 book. All right. Just Efficiency 4, not horrible. All right. So we get one more attempt at a level 30. Um, let's see what we can get. Efficiency 4, Flame 1, Prot 4. Let's do a chest plate. There we go. Perfect. That's like the best chest plate we can get. So what we're going to do for the rest of this episode is we actually got a lot of good things from that. I'm very happy with uh, how that ended up. I already said hi to Joe. Um... What we're going to do is we're going to... Where's the lapis? There we go. Let's dump all this crap in there. Or not really crap, but you know. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go work on the bank a little bit more. And I want to talk about packs a little bit. I want to talk about how packs went, um, some of the things we need to improve on, and some of the other things that happened during it. Some of the overwhelming things. So we'll just talk about that for a little bit. If you don't want to watch me talking and building, um, then you should probably click out of here. But if you want to just listen for a little while, you're more than welcome to. Maybe play some Minecraft while it's going on. Just... Yeah, chill. <laughs> All right, I'll get ready. I'll be back, guys. Hold on. All right, guys, we're back over here, and of course, it's raining on the cube. Is that anything new? Um, but what I'm gonna do is just kind of like lay this down or like get rid of all this stuff, and hopefully, I'll play some music to this so you guys can have a little bit of background music. Um, but this whole PAX event was really, really overwhelming. Um, like when we were back at PAX Prime. Um, we were expecting like a hundred people, two hundred people at the meetup, like nothing too crazy like that. And we end up getting about, I want to say 400 people, 400, 500 people show up to the meetup. And that was just outside of the PAX convention. That was when we were much smaller as well. Um, but we we hyped up PAX Prime like crazy. Like we were so hyped up for it. Um, it's the first time we all get to meet each other. It's the first time we're ever going to do a meetup and stuff like that. Um, so we were expecting probably around this, or like double that in PAX East because we have been hyping it up too. Um, but it's not like our first convention, so we thought like a lot of people already came to Prime, uh, PAX South, all that good stuff. Um, but we do the meetup in <laughs> at PAX East, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard about. Um, we ended up having about 5,000 people show up, um, which is at the same <laughs> at the same time both good and bad. Um, good because it's amazing how much support you guys have given us and how many people wanted to meet us and all that stuff. But bad because we it wasn't physically possible for us to go through all that much. Well, physically possible it could have been. Um, but we didn't expect that much. We expected probably a thousand max. Um, just because like New York's right by it, Boston's a big city, all that stuff. Um, we expected a thousand max, so we rented out a place for three hours. And we ended up going through about 2,000 people. Probably in between 2,000 and 2,500. And it just... We got kicked out. We got shut down by the police. We weren't able to go through everyone as well so then we had to go tell or not we had to but um people had to go through the audience and be like yeah i'm sorry but you can't meet the cube today and it was just horrible it was horrible feeling that we weren't able to go through anyone um like everyone was looking at uh, at the upside of it too like hey we got to meet this many people we got to meet 2500 but at the same time it's like 2500 other people weren't able to meet us and they came they sat in line, they probably came from miles upon miles out of the way, and it was just, it was a good and bad experience, and we've learned from this now, um, that at any of these big conventions, we pretty much can't do meetups outside of the convention, or else we'll have to rent out a very, very big place, because the line ended up being almost a mile long, I think. Um, I've heard people say that it was over a mile long, and I've heard people say that it was about seven blocks. Um, so I don't know exactly how long it was, because I <laughs> I tried running up and down it, but god, I was out of breath by the time we got up there. Um, so, it, like I said before, it's good and bad. Um, we have to learn from this experience, clearly. And we feel horrible for the people that didn't get to meet us. Um, but we did try doing like stuff like outside of uh, uh, the PAX convention. Like We had a few people go out there and say... And tweet out like, hey, we're doing a little meetup out here outside in front of the convention area, which you didn't need a pass for anything like that. Um, and we got to meet a lot more people, um, but it's still like we didn't get to meet everyone, which is sad. Um, so we've learned from this experience now, and I think what we're going to have to start doing is we either have to get a thing outside of the convention area, like a big old, um, I want to say a like, like <laughs> what comes to mind is like a football stadium, but I don't think we need something that big. But we need something very, very big that will be able to hold thousands of people. And then we also um, will be doing a much more, like, I think we'll be advertising PAX Prime a little bit more. Because that's kind of the next big one. Um, PAX Prime and then Minecon, of course. We'll have to figure out something for Minecon as well. Um, where we want to do something outside, but inside we will be sure doing, like, a big old meetup that everyone who gets a ticket or pass can do it. Or we'll do our best to do that. So there's a lot of stuff that we have to learn, but hopefully from this experience... 
we can actually um, make the next Paxes, uh, Paxes, Paxi, whatever the plural version of it, a lot more successful and that kind of stuff. But there were still a lot of people that came to the meetup. Like in in total, Pax Prime I saw, or not Pax Prime, Pax East was a success. Although there was of course that fiasco, but. I don't know what, what else we can say about that. We were very, we we're all very, very sorry. Um, there was some good news that, like, we heard from people that were standing outside in the line that didn't get to meet us. Um, there was, like, people like, yeah, I met some of my new best friends from waiting in the line. We kind of bonded over talking about the cube. It's like, oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> so at least some people are taking um, the positives from that stuff, which makes us very, very happy as a whole. Um, but we need to um, be more... Um, I don't know what's the way to phrase this. A lot more professional, maybe? I don't know. Um, but if we did the uh, meetup at the original location we were going to do it at, which was going to be the park, there would have been injuries. <laughs> there would have been fights. There would have been <laughs> bad things if we did it at a, um, a park. Just because, like, the line ended up being with 5,000 people. 5,000 people pushing and shoving, not really being organized or anything like that could have been really, really really bad there could have been trampling people shoving oh it, I'm so happy we moved it to be honest um, <laughs> and the thing is we probably wouldn't have moved it but we found out that um, the snow plows that were um, getting rid of all the snows from the streets were dumping it in that park it wasn't like the snow originally was stopping us from doing that it was literally Boston kept piling into that park so there was no way we could have done it there um, so yeah that was if <laughs> I don't know. It's it's kind of a blessing that we didn't go into that park because it could have been very, very bad. It could have been very, very, very bad. We would have got shut down by the police within like half an hour, to be honest. Like <laughs> probably even before we got there because um, we got there and the line was, I think by the time we got there, there was about 3,000 people waiting for us and the line was about six blocks long and it just kept going and going over time. More people kept joining and we tried to go through as many people as we possibly could. Like we went through, in three hours, we went through about 2,500 people, which is very, very quick. Um, which is kind of like, what else I didn't like about it, is we didn't get like any personal time with them. It was kind of just like, hey, how's it going? Picture, selfie, ah, thank you for coming out, like that kind of stuff. Um, we kind of do our best to always try and talk to the people. But this time there was just no way we could have done that, unfortunately. Because um, if we did do that, we would have gone through probably 800 people in three hours. So yeah. Uh, it, it's an learning experience, so we'll have to take what happened from there and um, make it, or make it better in the future. I want to get rid of this. I don't like this. Um, but Pax Prime, we're, we will do our best to like try and please everyone. Like we don't do this um, to just like be able to say we have that many people there. We do this to make everyone happy. It makes us happy being able to meet everyone, and at the same time, it makes us happy knowing that you guys are happy get, being able to meet us. So we spent a lot of money on that place. It was, we were more than welcome to spend the amount of money that we did. I can't say the amount, but it was a lot. Um, just to be able to meet a lot of you guys. Unfortunately, we weren't able to meet everyone and that kind of stuff. Um, but Pax East was a whole lot of fun. Got to meet everyone. I got, I think the only people that I met here um, from the cube that I didn't meet before were the Aussies, which were Straub and B. Um, I'm thinking through it again. Oh, Dull. I got to meet Dull as well. Um, who else went that I can't think of? I think I've met everyone, like at PAX Prime or PAX South or something like that. Um, but over here we're gonna wanna do the... I think we'll get rid of these ones? And we'll wanna do like a spiral staircase down here into the bank vault and that kind of stuff. And we'll do the same thing over here as well. So, uh, one, two, three, four, um... I don't know how to do this, right? Um, let's put you here, cause there's, this is like an even. One, two, three, four, yeah, it's even. Ugh, I did this wrong. <laughs> Crap! Um, that's not good. Um, but yeah, I didn't get to meet too many people that I didn't already meet, but I got to meet the Aussies. I got to meet Dull, which <laughs> Dull's really cool. Everyone's happy. I barely got to talk to Dull, too. Like, um, she ended up leaving the day after. The first time I got to meet her, she was, like, panicking about the whole meetup thing. And I'm like, it's, it's okay, it's okay. We'll try and get through this. Um, and then I got to meet her at the, uh, one of the cube houses and that kind of stuff. Um, so it was a fun adventure. We got to meet a lot of people. Um, had a lot of fun. We got to do like videos like Rusher's got a few videos coming out that I'll be in. Grazer's, I think Grazer already uploaded the video. The water, yeah, he already did uh, upload the water taste challenge. Um, and I think that's it for other videos I'm in. Dylan, I know, has a lot of vlogs coming out that I'm assuming I'm in because I was, I kept trolling. <laughs> Anyone that was vlogging, I was trolling. As a whole, just PAX, PAX East was amazing. It really was fun. 
Um, as for the panel, I think we will be uploading it soon. I think we're going to do like a little tease at the beginning, um, maybe like a little montage of it, and then we're going to get someone after a few weeks to end up um, uploading the full thing. The full panel who was on the panel, but it was a whole lot of fun. I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, I'm actually a lot more excited for more panels now because I was extremely, extremely nervous. I'm sorry I'm not doing anything. I'm kind of focused on talking. I'm bad at this. Um, but I was extremely nervous about this panel, and it ended up being very, very good. Parker, Grazer, Rusher, Straub, D-Field, Grape, B, all did a great job in the panel. It was those seven and then me. Um, I think I was by far the quietest because I was just so nervous and all that stuff, which I'm, I know a lot of us were nervous as well, but they all did a phenomenal job. Um, I thought it was entertaining. I, I've rewatched it now and it's very, very entertaining. I'm proud of them. I'm very proud of the whole cube thing. And we want to start mixing up for panels and I, according to the people, we can only have eight people over there, but we want to start trying to get it, um, start trying to get these things done a little bit earlier and hopefully we'll be able to get more people up there. Obviously if we have... 20 people up there that would be kind of chaotic uh, which is how many people were from the cube that were on uh, at PAX um, so we're going to try and limit it and maybe switch it up a little bit um, but I want to get it more than just 8 people I do um, but anyways guys I hope you did enjoy this episode um, thank you for everyone for all the support all of the stuff from PAX East we actually got um, I think it was like it's not your fault cube trending like worldwide like number 2 in the world um, which that honestly <laughs> made us so happy because even though it wasn't our fault, I know it wasn't our fault, and I know a lot of you people will agree with that because it's like there's no way we could have expected 5,000 people to show up. Um, we still felt guilty as hell that we couldn't go through anything else. Um, it was just a very, very surreal moment and very, very sad for a lot of us. Uh, but thank you guys for enjoy. <laughs> thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Right as I end the video, it stops raining, <laughs> of course. Get out of here. <gasps>